Namaskar. Hello and welcome to P Guru's channel. I'm your host Sri Ayer. Monday mornings are Delhi our Rajagopalan morning as he has come bursting with scoops for our benefit. And let's welcome our guest of the morning, Sri R. Rajagopalan. Scoop Raja Ji, Namaskar and welcome to P Guru's <laughs> channel. How are you, sir? <laughs> Namaskar, Namaskar, sir. So kind of you, so kind of you. I am I am admiring your style of presentation of Lord Ganapati behind you, Vigneshwara Ganapati Papa Maurya. And you know, well, as I'm... you said, we start with a very, very interesting shloka, which every uh, you know Indian or Hindu chants that because Vignam Nignanti Satatam. That is what they say in Sanskrit also. Suklam, Pradharam, Vishnam, Sajvan, Namchatar, Bhujam, Prasanna Vadanam, Jaya, Sarve, Knausanthe, Prasanna Vadanam. He is a Prasanna Vadanam, sir. Mangala I told you, sir, Prasanna. you are also Prasanna Vadanam. Remember, remember I told you a long time ago? You Prasanna are Prasanna Vadanam. Vadanam. And, 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 and apart from that, Yasya Svartavatra, Dhyaha, Parishadhyaha, Parasadam, Vignam, Nignanti, Satatam, Viswakshenam, Tamashe, Vignam, Nignanti, Satatam. So, Lord Ganesha, Today, give us the courage to speak against certain things important. He will force us to drive them out from Indian politics. We will combine both Vigneshwara and the Indian politics, ongoing politics in, in capital. I have a lot of interesting in anecdotes, grape wines, certain things, you know, I would like to share, which are very top confidential things. It may happen, it may not happen, sir. Because, you know, we have trollers, we have, you know, abusers, we have, you know, uh, unnecessarily we get not provoked. But still, things are happening in Delhi, sir. I want to convey that without blacking it out to P Guru viewers, especially Mr. Shri Ayer directed me two, three occasions ago that, sir, whatever is happening, you say that. Let us rebuild it later. So certain things we have gone very interesting. Like, you know, the naming of India as a Bharat, we have a scoop, you know. So that's what things are going. Today, I have eight or nine interesting small, 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 small things. Which people... <laughs> I'm rubbing my hands in glee and anticipation. <laughs> so here, here we go, sir. Our teaser for the week. Here we go. Masterpiece and masterstroke of Dr. Kani. Namaste. Thank sir. you so much, sir. There is more headed your way, viewers. We would like you to encourage us. This we have said it before. It's set <laughs> in Rag Jog, also called Chalanatai in uh, Carnatic music. Ah, and uh, and uh, viewers, we are going to give you more music as the occasion demands, as the theme demands. So stay tuned. We are going to be getting a lot of stuff. Now, first topic, sir. We're very, very first topic. Rajagopalanji, I will give you first scoop. Today, oh, we are okay. going to do differently. But, but much more than that, I will give you one scoop, sir, today. At 12 yeah. o'clock, in another two hours' time from now on, the Indian Election Commission is going to announce five states' polls dates. That is the scoop. No, it's already in the domain, public domain. But the dates are so, you know, interesting. We, we have to wait and watch. Madhya Pradesh will go for two phases. Chhattisgarh, one phase. And Rajasthan one phase like that. Apart from that, will Congress and uh, India Alliance dot 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 Alliance 
put the EVM before this one because they are losing in Madhya Pradesh. The latest story which I heard. So they will put the blame on EVM. So now we go for the scoops. And you can ask me some questions. Yes. Viewers, many people are now saying, you know, there was a tinder box waiting to be lit in Hamas, Israel. And they are saying that the last straw that broke the camel's back, meaning like the, the reason why it is happening now is the IEMC, India, Mid I'm sorry, IMEC, India Middle East Corridor. Because suddenly now what India did was it kept out China, it kept out Iran, it, it kept out many of the other players which would have benefited. And India suddenly said that, look, we are going to work with Saudi Arabia, UAE, Greece, India, and from Greece onwards into Europe. This is what seems to have alarmed the other side. And that's why all this is happening. Iran stood to lose from that. Uh, China definitely stood to lose from that. And, and Pakistan is the latest state to join China anyway. So they also stood to lose from that. So a lot of things are happening. By the way, viewers, before I cede the control back to Delhi Rajagopalan, please remember that of the 700 people who have died because of the Hamas attacks in Israel, almost 10% are Muslims. So this is, this is not, this is just a terror incident. Please don't give it a religious color. Poor people, nice people, they were holidaying. There was a concert, music concert. You should see some of the things that happened, Rajagopalanji. You won't sleep at the night. It's it's very, horrible, very, horrible very, how they very, went about doing this. Very, very sad. Very, very, sad. sad. Very, sad. very sad. So, so here, here is the first item, sir. Off, over to you. Uh, Shankar Mahadevan to be the chief guest at Nagpur RSS Vijay Desmi Utsav. Morgan Bahuat to interact with Shankar Mahadevan. The concept of uh, RSS, why they invited Shankar Mahadevan? He has been put at the pedestal of Mr. Pranam Mukherjee's status. And also, Mr. You know, a uh, lot, lot, lot of uh, you know, seniors have come and given the address on the Vijay Dasmi Day. It's a very important occasion. Shankar Mahadevan invitation is aimed at to have cultural intuition of RSS because Shankar Mahadevan is the new uh, you know, poster boy of Bollywood on many uh, breathless uh, uh, songs and also uh, cinema songs. He has also rendered a lot of hymns, Vedic hymns, uh, like, you know, Mahishasura uh, Mardani Slok, Vishnu Sasana. So a lot of things he rendered. So Mr. Mogan Bhagat wanted to decorate him with a very highly pedestal status. That is why he has been invited, which no, uh, you know, cultural organization or religious organization that earlier. It is the first initiative of Mogan Bhagat, the RSS Sarsan Chalak, to invite Mr. Mahadevan. And he is going to give a rendition of certain Vedic hymns on that day. We have to wait and watch. And Mogan Bhagwa's speech is also going to be very interesting on Vijay Dasmi Day because I got to know two important points. The international relations, second day is about 2024. RSS is certainly a little concerned about 2024 election results. Ram Mandir, apart from that, the uh, Negative attitude of Congress, that PD lover, Mr. Rahul Gandhi, Nuri, Nuri lover. In the later uh, portion of our interview, we are going to speak about that new found doggy for Mr. Rahul Gandhi. So Rahul Gandhi has been initiating an exercise against RSS. It's going to be a tough fight, very, very tough fight 2024. Mr. Mogan speech on uh, Vijay Desmi Day is going to enthuse the Hindu audience, especially after the you know construction and declaring opening of Ram Mandir. The BJP is rushing it because before 2024, they want to initialize it. If something happens, either way, Ram Mandir will be the main target of the opposition. It's a great you know, success of BJP and RSS. Similarly, the triple talaq, similarly 370. With that intention, Mr. RSS chief Morgan Bhagwat has convened, uh, you know, Shankar Mahadevan's uh, uh, address to RSS Vijay Dasmi Day. 
Thank you so much, sir. And uh, Shankar Mahadevan is known to be a perfectionist in his field. And uh, you can expect some very perfect music on that day. And he continues to razzle dazzle us with his music. May he live long. Next, sir, we are going to look at the JDU Kader push for Nitish to contest polls from you know, Uttar Pradesh. But Akhilesh Yadav doesn't want outsider to be face of Prime Minister from Uttar Pradesh. <laughs> This is my territory, your territory. Yes, yes, yes. It's a started. The game has started. Akhilesh Yadav is so much of upset because that Pulpur is the place where JDU cadres. It is nearing the Bihar border. And moreover, a lot of Kurmis are in Pulpur and other places also. They have not identified. How If Narendra Modi can control from Gujarat in Varanasi, why can't Nitish Kumar from Bihar to Pulpur? So in that case, let Mr. M. K. Stalin also contest from Lucknow. Let Finari Vijayan contest from Meghalaya. If it is so, let Mr. Rahul Gandhi contest from Srinagar. Let us see. So this is happening. 2024 is going to be interesting. JDU cadre is pushing Nitish Kumar for the Prime Minister candidate. But at the same time, a little bird also tells me there is a difference of opinion between Lalu Yadav and Nitish Kumar. Because it is Dalu Yadav who told Sonia Gandhi not to announce the convenership of uh, uh, you know, India Alliance dot 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 alliance. Therefore, <laughs> JDU cadre are upset. This dot alliance is an irritation for Indian politics. Sir. Well, uh, we'll have to wait and see how this thing is going to play out. And now let's take a look at what Governor of Tamil Nadu, Sri R. and Ravi, had to say because. Three of Eda Party's ministers are under the scanner. Now, why would governor say anything? Because he says that he is going to be giving sanction for prosecution that is required. And that would mean that the said three ministers in the Eda Party regime, which is the previous regime, are also going to be perhaps under the ED scanner, CBA scanner, IT scanner. Which scanner, sir? As a local police scanner, Tamil Nadu Police, DAVC, Directorate of Anti-Vigilance Corruption, because Mr. R. N. Ravi is the sanctioning authority as a governor. Because the three MLAs, or presently they are MLAs, they are all public servants. During the El Party regime, they were under the scanner of DAVC. Now, very cleverly, M.K. Stalin played politics. He put the blame on governor. Now, with the alliance being, you know, split between ADMK and BJP, it is high time that BJP is also playing politics, DMK is also playing politics. Thereby, the DMK wants to ensure that there is no opposition in Tamil Nadu, including the Telepathy Pioneer Army, because Telepathy Pioneer Army is isolated in Tamil Nadu politics. He expected Congress would come to him. Still, there are expectations after Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Chhattisgarh elections. The Congress might do well in one or two states. In that case, the bargaining power of Congress will go up in DMK uh, domain. DMK will not give more than eight seats, whereas ADMK is offering 18 to 20 seats. So there is a you know a catch carrot, dangling the carrot. Sir, a little birdie came and told in my ear that there is a lot of shortage of avial in Tamil Nadu, sir. <laughs> avial, avial, avial is going to be M.K. Stalin's domain, sir, because he heckled the Edapati Pioneer Army. Opposition parties will do avial only, not politics. But politics is being done now. R. N. Ravi, the governor of Tamil Nadu, is going to be crucial. In Tamil Nadu politics for the P Guru viewers, very seriously, I'm telling sir, I have covered Tamil Nadu politics from 1967. My respected father, Mr. J. Ramabhadran, was the go between Mr. C. N. Anadre, Mr. Kaide Millan, and Mr. C. Rajagopalachari. He used to take a written uh, notes, travel to Kanjivaram, travel to Mr. You know, Kaide Millan's residence in. Uh, Rayapuram. I used to accompany him as a young, uh, you know, uh, person. I was only 16, 17 years at that time. But during those days, politics was different. Since 1967, I observed politics 
the doom of Congress from Tamil Nadu scene was happening, was at, or had happened in 1967. Since then, Congress did not come to power. Today, I am giving you a one-liner, sir, in a, in a nutshell of 45 years of my experience as a political reporter and political editor of two or three leading newspapers. Tamil Nadu politics is turning an interesting turn. The two former IPS offices are putting their you know, efforts to ensure that DMK, ADMK and other parties, that the Dravidian style is you know, uh, fading away from Indian system and Tamil Nadu political scenario. So therefore, Mr. Anamalai, Mr. R. N. Ravi, the two former cops, senior Indian police service officers, have taken full control and DMK is rattled with that. ADMK is rattled with that. The Bain, the person who initiated these two IPS officers, especially for Tamil Nadu, is Mr. Amit Shah. Because the day when he was appointed, Mr. R. N. Ravi, Mr. Amit Shah told me two years ago, Abito drama suru ho gaya hai Tamil Nadu mein. It will end up with the Adapati regime, three ministers getting sanction from Mr. R. and Ravi. That may happen in a week's time or in a fortnight's time, sir. So they are going to say vendetta politics, but then who no, are they okay. going to blame? DMK? But, but why, why, should, why should DMK send it to governor? It is not vendetta. Yes, yes, if, yes. If yes. Narendra Modi does, yes, it is vendetta. It is double slap, sir. One ah, side slap is to DMK, the other side slap is to ADMK, right? We ah, and, 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 watch. And, and there is a secret dealing between DMK and ADMK to ensure that BJP does not, you know, Lotus does not blow in Tamil Nadu. But now, the Tamil may bolt the henna, dosa is a three before. So the BJP has put the dosa on the river side. <laughs> politics, politics, Avian. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, um, Ashok Gailot, he is uh, suddenly talking about a red diary and this dead diary, what is inside that, sir? The birdie said it died, right, but he could not read it. No, the, the, the red diary is a concept which, uh, you know, Enforcement Directorate did not take along with them, but they left it. One the ex MLA of Mr., you know, Minister of Mr. Ashok Gailot, he found that diary and he wanted to flash it. He said it in the, at the Rajasthan Assembly also. From then, this red diary is a concept in Rajasthan politics. Every politician in Rajasthan know that red diary consists of certain malpractices of the Chief Minister, Mr. Ashok Gelet, and his son and son-in-law. So that is why Mr. Ashok Gelet is little uh, rattled and he says a conspiracy against the Red Diary. Even day before yesterday, Mr. Narendra Modi, the Prime Minister of India, in the meeting, public address meeting, he said, Red Diary may darte hai, Mr. Ashok Gelet. So there is a conspiracy related to a law diary which failed. Mr. Ashok Gelet says, we you cannot do anything on that. Now, why on Red Diary, Rahul Gandhi and Congress are silent? For everything they used to tweet, they are silent. What happened in uh, indie politics, sir? I dot n dot d dot i a dot 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 alliance conspiracy. Mr. Ashok Gelet is filled with red diary. Mr. Great uh, Arvind Kejriwal is with Shish Mahal. What is happening in Indian politics? God knows. <laughs> Next one from um, Mr. Amit Shah. He says that in two years, he is good. Oh, no, this is not that one. Sorry. Um, Home Minister Amit Shah meets top officials of anti-terror agencies at anti-terror conference. Major topics include funding and violent activities of pro-Khalistani extremists operating from foreign soil. Shah asks NIAIB to develop a common training module for all central and state level counter-terrorism agency. Sir, it may, it seems like common sense, sir. Do you think it is not there already? It is there. It is there. But, you know, he wants to emphasize with the new addition of Khalistan. Sir, the, for the last two, three years, what ISA has done it, which, uh, you know, uh, P. Guru also debated with other panelists, 
But the new concept, which I understood from the uh, Joint Intelligence Committee report, I would like to emphasize one thing. Pakistan, after this Balkot and Narendra Modi returning to power in 2019, shifted its base of ISI to Canada. Eight or nine top directors general of uh, you know uh, uh, ISI or in or in Canada Ottawa they operated now Indian government has come to know certain clue of that for the last two years Mr Amit Shah is working on that that is why he says there should be a concerted coordination because uh, the three affected states are on that uh, uh, anti-terror conference one is the Khalistan pro extremists concentrated in Punjab, Himachal Pradesh, Jammu. So you have to be a little careful. Now, off late, they are shifting their base to southern states like Tamil Nadu, Hyderabad. Because wherever there is a problem of Hindu Sikh rights or Hindu Muslim rights, the ISA wants to plant the Khalistani there. That is the Joint Intelligence Committee report, which I had an opportunity to peruse it. I, sh I am sharing with that. That is the concept of Mr. Amit Shah. Also, there is a hand of China emerging in the killing of Hardeep Singh Nijar. This is unconfirmed yet. There is one blogger who has come out with the details that the planning was done in Seattle, United States. And these were agents hired by the CCP. They were trained to speak in Indian English. And they were also trained to wear, you know, Sadaji, Patkas, all sorts of stuff. So this is again one blogger making this statement and we are still verifying that. So, uh, so this will tell you that they are now trying different camouflaging tactics. We don't even know which country is involved anymore. Because they sir, want to sir, I mean, sir, I, I, yes, sir, Mr. Ayer, Mr. Ayer, I want to you know interject. Sorry, our discussion is taking a very serious turn now, very hotting up the political episodes. But I would like to remind our viewers Exactly a year ago, it is Sri Ayer and Rajagopal a debate about eight countries or after India's, you know, one is China yes. and another is Canada. Is it not coming through now? Because yes, yes. that eight countries were identified Mr. Narendra Modi Security Council headed by Mr. Ajit Dover. So I had the opportunity to see that even when we broke the story last year, that falls in line today. Very true, sir. Very true. Now, let's go to the next one. Uh, viewers, many years ago, when, uh, you know, all these channels were heating up in India, you got, you know, explosion of cable channels and things like that. I think there was one channel called Hangama TV, if I remember correctly. I think yes. Disney bought them. And I think looks like they are now thinking of selling the business that they built around that. So, uh, Raj Gopalanji can throw more light on this. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Now, now that Disney in talks with Adani, Adani made uh, by, by it. Otherwise, the Sun Television Group, they are Nidhi Maran, Kala Nidhi Maran. They are called Mini Adani, sir. If you go to Sarana Bhavan, you get Mini Idlis. Yes, yes. But if you go to Tamil Nadu, you get Mini Adanis in the form of <laughs> Daya Nidhi Maran and Kala Nidhi Maran. Mini Adanis. And they have invested 40,000 crore rupees on that, sir, totally initially for the next two, three years. That is the amount which I heard. I don't know whether it is, uh, you know, correct betting or not. But Adani has that money. How does Dayanidhi Maran and Kalanidhi Maran get this huge amount? Who is funding? Is there any different angle to that? Of course, Disney is in talks with Adani, Sun Television to sell India's business. With Walt Disney is holding preliminary interest, uh, discussions with potential buyers for its India streaming and television business. Disney has come and Disney has been weighing the strategic options for its business in India. Sir, India is a center, sir. And, and very interestingly, I would like to uh, you know share, from today onwards, Indian TV journalism is taking a U-turn, different turn, which uh, P. Gurus and Raj Gopalan formalized it as a digital scoops and uh, the digital conversations. Today, Mr. Arunav Goswami's Republic is going digital. That means on WhatsApp, on Twitter, on every platform you can get that. So television is also getting relegated. First newspaper obligated 
and now television is getting obliterated. Now digital media, which you know, P gurus, we were the pioneers in that, sir, in capsule form journalism. That is called yes, Mojo, Mojo and Yujo. YouTube Yojo. journalism. Yojo. Right. Right. Yojo. Right. 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 Yes, sir. The more the merrier. Let's uh, let's have some fun. Now, Jyotiraditya Sindhya says that the Indian airports have become too busy. 16 of India's airports are working on a plan to tackle peak season rush. Sir, uh, I have been to many bigger airports. Yes, it is busy. Um, some days, sometimes, especially Delhi is very busy, sir. And, and, and you know, that is the reason, uh, of course, I would like to share my experience with peak guru viewers. 35 to 40 destinations I traveled along with uh, Mr. Abdul Kalam, Mr. Pranam Mukherjee, Mr. Atal Bihaj Vajpayee, Dr. Manmohan Singh, and even Mr. Rajiv Gandhi in Maldives. 1986, I traveled with him. I have also sent, like you, many airports. But it is Mr. Narendra Modi and Yogi Adityanath. They, con they gave a concept of Jaiwar Airport in Delhi, sir, near Naira. The yes. best one. And it is coming up. First runway is going to be inaugurated by year end, December. So therefore, Jodhi Aditya Sindhya gave a leadership and that takeoff politically is going to help Mr. Jodhi Aditya Sindhya to contest MLA ship from Madhya Pradesh and he may be the chief ministerial candidate after the elections are uh, over. Is this a scoop? Yeah, scoop, scoop. It's a speculation in Delhi, sir. It's a great point in Delhi because his auntie Yasudara Cynthia is vacating that particular MLA seat for his, you know, uh, Mr. Yodhira Cynthia. Now, um, I'm also hearing that the race has heated up quite a bit in Madhya Pradesh and that actually BJP is out with its nose in the front. Sir, do you have any numbers to share, sir? How much percentage vote share? Um, no, no, INC, no, how much it's, 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 all, it's all in the uh, you know regrouping, but one thing is pakka, sir. I would like to you know share a very interesting aspect with Mr. P. Here, I did not discuss with him offline, but I would like to say it online. A dearest friend of mine, Sridharan Kodandaraman in US, he is also like you, Mr. Sir. He has done a capsule artificial intelligence study along with him Nikhil and Mr. Saranya two youngsters from Coimbatore and Uti they have also forecast through artificial intelligence it's not astrology it is not uh, cephology it is through first time in Indian style they are adopting a module in which they say Rajasthan 120 seats for BJP 72 for Congress. It may go up and down one or two extra, that's all. But Madhya Pradesh, it is very tight fight. It is neck to neck. But BJP has a chance. That is what the, I, do. I suggest you also talk to Mr. Kodat Raman. I will share his number with you. You must do a yes, program sir. with him, sir. Will do, sir. Will do, sir. Definitely. Um, next one, left-wing extremism to be eliminated in two years. I was ahead of my this, time. This, 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 is, this, is, this we can combine with the earlier one. Because yes. the, this one is a, a baby step of uh, Mr. Amisha style. The earlier one also, these two, are, if you combine both, Mr. Amisha's interest in you know containing terrorism. If you remember Mr. Shia here, it is the concept of BJP before they came to power in 2012 and 2011. It is Madam Sushma Suraj who coined a word, a phraseology. Tirupati to Pashupati, the Naxal inflicted areas. Tirupati, Andhra Pradesh to Pashupati, Nepal, Kathmandu, Nepal. So therefore, Mr. Amit Shah, after 10 years of hard work by the LWGE, left-wing extremism uh, coordinators, uh, successfully they contained it. In another two years, there won't be any left-wing extremism in India. That is why they are propping up, sir. That is why yesterday also Prime Minister said that, you know, Congress is outsourcing its efforts to left-wing extremism at the Naxals. So, therefore, they want to take a political route, left-wing extremists. Suddenly, Mr. Amit Shah will cut there from the bottom of uh, the growth. Don't, Thank don't you, sir. And now, 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 doggy, sir. Doggy, Ayora. sir. Biden. 
And, uh, please, and please, Rahul Gandhi. We, we don't want this doggy, sir. Please, please, don't bring it. Because next you will bring Nuri. Nuri again, Nuri. Oh, that is why Asuddin always he says, why do you put a Muslim name to the dog? <laughs> do you know that? He told me that, sir. I didn't know. <laughs> ah, he told me. Uh, yesterday, when, when I had a very loftless, uh, boisterous laughter he had, he says, uh, uh, he, he also told me very interesting things. Uh, Rahul is fond of doggies. A yeah, little surprise for his ma. Rahul, Rahul Gandhi brings home a pet dog, Nuri. This is not the first time Raga's pet dog has hit the headlines because Hemant Bishwa Sarma, the chief minister of Assam, also said, Pidi, P-A-D-I, Pidi. He has got 12 dogs, Mr. Rahul Gandhi. Has you know is growing up a tall dog, small, small, small dog. Whenever he goes uh, abroad, he brings what new dogs, doggies. Interesting. So therefore, uh, uh, American president is also the entire White House staff have been bitten by dog. You know, commander. You you know the story, sir? No. Yes, yes, yes. He has been he has been banished from and, the White House. And suppose <laughs> and suppose if this type of Nuri and PD. Or going to bite either Rahul Gandhi or Sonia Gandhi, or they taking some vaccinations. We know we have to understand. They were not taking vaccination for corona, but at least for this type of doggy bites, they must take corona injections. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. And um, and, 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 and ending yes. that, I would like to end up with two or three interesting uh, news items, sir. Today is a very auspicious day. Because you also put uh, uh, Lord Vinayak, Lord Ganapati. Sir, are you in line, sir? Yes, sir. I'm in line. I'm in line. I'm in line, sir. I'm trying to there, there line up a, questions. There, I'm sir, lining up questions. Problem. I'm here, sir. Yeah, yeah. There is, there, is, uh, there is some problem with that. So, the, coming to the point, today from Nagapatnam to Konkais and Turai, a special water, you know, to route. That ship is being inaugurated. This is the idea of Mr. Narendra Modi. He has implemented it. Nirmala Sitaraman mentioned in her budget speech in 2023, February 1st, but that is being implemented in November. It is going to create a massive uh, you know, traffic for both sides, for Sri Lanka and Tamil Nadu. And second, today is 9th of October, Monday. Chief Minister Mr. M.K. Stalin has convened a special session of Tamil Nadu Assembly to pass a resolution about Kaveri to urging upon the centre to implement the Kaveri authorities' directions. But poor Mr. Stalin, you are in alliance with the Congress. Why can't you tap the door of Mr. Siddharamiya directly? You go and talk to him. You will get water. You say you are a Delta man. You are a Dravidian. What is happening? Yesterday, Simon, yesterday, the opposition leaders, including uh, Elapati Parani Swami, created a huge cry because for another two, three days, the water is needed, sir. After that, there is no need of water because we get rain and also the Panja uh, Tanjavur, Nagapatnam, that, you know, Vedaranyam type of that area, Delta area, where our farmers are, you know, daily dying like anything, sir. But Mr. M.K. Stalin is taking the politics out of it. it that, that, uh, that derails the DMK Dravidian model, sir. And sir, Megan, I told you, you sir, sir, I told you, sir, no more avial is being made. Sir, huge demand is, ha is happening for avial, sir. That is why all this is happening. Instead of doing <laughs> avial, he is doing something else. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Um, Next question. Uh, thank you so much, Vinay. Vinay has become a YouTube member of P Gurus. Thank you so much. And Krishna Sundar, thank you for your generous donation. Any scoop on Chandra Babu Naidu? Today, today, the case, today the case is coming up. He may be released today that we cannot forecast uh, uh, the uh, quotes. But things are good for Chandra Babu Naidu from today. And moreover, Pavan Kalyan, who is still impressing upon Mr. Amit Shah and Nadda to take Chandra Babu Naidu in NDA, Pavan Kalyan clarified that he has not walked out of NDA. Oh, I see. I see. So uh, there yeah. is a the train is going in two different slowly, slowly going like this. Sir, last question for you, sir. Last question. Pavan Kishore wants to know. Namaskaram, sir. 
BJP already gives more seats to OBCs compared to other parties. Modi ji and OBC is their PM candidate. Will INC accept Nitish as PM other, uh, rather than RG? No, 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 no. They won't accept, sir. No, they won't. The INC, Indian National Congress, will not accept any other than Mr. Rahul Gandhi. But Rahul Gandhi has outsourced it to Malikajan Karge. The latest bus in Delhi political circle, circuit is Malikajan Karge is the face of Congress and India Alliance. Let us see. Because he's a, a Dalit, they want to project a Dalit candidate against the OBC. Let us see. An 83 year old gentleman, Mr. Malikajan Karge, has been in the politics for more than six decades, but there are charges against him also. We have to wait and watch. As a Home Minister of Karnataka, Mr. Malikajan Karge, things are coming out in Lok Ayukta in Karnataka, and there are bunglings, corruption charges against him. Will Congress put him? We have to wait and watch, sir. Thank you so much, Radhagopalanji. As always, a pleasure having you on our channel. And I hope your week has started well, viewers. And please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click on the bell button for notifications. And here is our beautiful outro music that we've been.